What do you think is it that prevents people from taking that next step or being bolder with their risks? I think it's three things. I think one is getting the right mindset. I think you, you have to be in the right mindset and, and, and that's bigger than just one thing. It's understanding your own self negative talk, understanding how you were raised and all those things, how they influence your mindset and then understanding how your own circle influences your mindset and, and understanding it from both sides, like understanding the positive and negative positively you're going to have family members, you're going to have friends who, who will say, whoa, 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 you know, you don't start a business, play it safe, take a job. And the positive side is that is they're doing that because they love you. They're doing that out of, you know, protecting you. But the negative side of that is people take advice sometimes, you know, would you ever take advice on investing from someone who's never invested? Would you ever learn to play tennis from a basketball player? No. You, you, and, and so sometimes we confuse that commitment we have our, to our loved ones to, oh, well, I love them, so I have to take their advice. So I'd say mm -hmm. mindset is the first step. The second step is actually, you know, starting to kind of have some real tactics to, one of the big things that we teach our folks uh, with our risk content is that everybody has a certain level of risk. There's, there's four risk platforms that we teach our folks about, whether it's personal risk, whether it's financial risk, whether it's regulatory risk, which is legal risk, or whether it's reputational risk, how people are going to think and see you, you need to understand what your level is because you can't actually commit and go all in mm -hmm. unless you really understand that. Because if you understand that your financial, some people, they don't have the financial resources to risk $100,000 or $200,000. Mm -hmm. They only might have the financial resources to risk $1,000 but they have the personal time risk, they can invest 20 hours a day sometimes if they really want to make sense. So we, yeah. we teach our folks, it's something that we've developed outside of the Tony, Tony and Dean brand. We actually teach people to understand their risk profile because what happens is then they can take 100% full action until they get up against, they know what the risk is. So I'll give you a prime example. Yeah. If, if you have the financial risk to say, I'm willing to commit $10,000 to this business venture, I'm willing to spend $10,000 on this risk. Well, then we work with our clients to say, okay, great. Here's some things you can do. Here's mm -hmm. how you can use that money to speed your pace. Here's how you can use that money to advertise. Here's how you can use that money to hire people to help you. And as they, we set goals with them to say, okay, once you get to 33% of your spend, of your financial mm -hmm. spend risk, you need to understand, we need to start measuring. Are you getting the success that you want? Okay, now that you've got 33%, we can tweak or we can change our strategy because we know we're not getting the results that we want. Okay, now we might be up to 66%. Okay, 66%, but but you know, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm willing to spend $10,000. I've only spent six. I'm starting to see results because a lot of the time, and Chris, you'll probably know, a lot of the times you see it's those, it's those little steps that you take that you don't see, you don't see, you don't see, you mm. don't see. And then all of a sudden, if you plan 10 steps on step number nine, that's where you really start to see the, wow, I really see the movement now. I really see the yeah. actions. So we teach people to understand about that. And then the other thing is, is actually having some actionable tasks. And, and that seems so simple. And, and the, it's the biggest thing I've ever learned from Dean. Um, it doesn't have to be hard to be successful. It could be simple. It's the actions you take and the frequency that you take them. So what I mean by that is there's a lot of people who are spinning their feet. They're taking action, mm -hmm. but they're taking action. Just because you're busy doesn't mean you're moving the needle. You know what I mean? Yes. 